Let's begin by taking a look at the various parts of the Revit user interface. In the upper left, we have the application menu. To the right of that, we have the quick access toolbar. The top portion of the screen is referred to as the application title bar. To the right, we have the ability to search help and to log into Autodesk A360. Below the application title bar, we have the ribbon. Below the ribbon is the options bar. Below the options bar and to the left, we have the properties palette. The top portion of the properties palette is referred to as the type selector. Below the properties palette is the project browser where we can access our views and sheets and content within a project. The large area in the center of the screen where we create and modify our Revit model is called the drawing area. Below that and to the left we have the drawing control bar. The entire bottom portion of the screen is referred to as the status bar. The lower left we have prompts related to the current command. To the right of that we have a few commands related to the current project. Understanding these different parts of the user interface will be very helpful as you work through the textbook.